Hey, it's Tom Church from Latest Deals, and today in this video, I'm talking about green energy. What is it? What are the pros and cons? Because there are some cons. And how do you get it? Green energy is energy that is produced from renewable sources. That means it is sustainable for the environment and planet. An example is energy from wind and the sun. Renewable energy is considered good for the environment because it doesn't release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Where does green energy come from? Well, there are five main sources. Number one is wind power. Turbines, as they spin, generate electricity. Number two is solar power. Solar panels absorb sunlight and turn it into power. Number three is hydroelectric, and that is where water goes into the turbine causing it to spin, and in the same way as the wind turbine, then creates electricity. Number four is biofuels. This is where you turn plant and food matter into energy through the decomposition process. And number five, for which I don't have a picture for because it's so deep underground, is called geothermal. And this is where you use the Earth's natural heat underneath the ground to heat water, which then creates steam turning turbines, again, producing power. Are you thinking about changing your energy supplier to green energy to help the planet and the environment? If yes, there's still five things you need to know before you do. Number one, green energy doesn't always mean it's from renewable sources like the ones I mentioned before. Something to watch out for is that when you buy a green energy tariff from a company, they may say, it is a renewable gas and electricity tariff. However, they may still actually be getting their energy from non-renewable sources, but what they do is that at the same time, they buy the equivalent amount from somewhere else which is producing via renewable sources. A second thing that many companies do is called carbon offsetting. What that actually means is that they're still producing energy from fossil fuels, but they will do things such as plant trees to negate the negative effects. The second thing you need to know is that green gas is really hard to produce and not that widely used. This is because green gas is much harder to produce than green renewable energy is. What the companies tend to do is blend in a mix of green gas from a renewable source. So when they say it's a green energy plan, be aware that it could just be 6 to 25% of the gas as a mix might be from a renewable place. The majority of green energy companies will offer carbon offsetting for the gas, meaning they'll plant trees or do other things to negate the impact. The third thing you need to know is that green energy tariffs are usually a combination of renewable and non-renewable energy sources and you need to read how they will implement that greenness, if you'd like to say, whether that's carbon offsetting by planting trees, or if it truly is coming from their own wind turbines that they are investing in, or perhaps they're just buying carbon credits from other companies who are doing the good stuff. Number four, for green energy, the tariff is more important than the supplier. Just because a supplier might have the word green in their name, doesn't mean they're necessarily any better than traditional energy companies. Again, the key thing to do is to compare the individual tariffs at the different companies and to see how they are creating their greenness in their energy plan. What you want to look out for for green tariffs are that they are doing renewable energy, renewable gas, and carbon offset gas. The fifth thing you need to know is that 100% renewable energy tariffs are not cheap. If you want to go down the greenest energy tariff route, you have to be prepared to spend more money. Green Energy UK is the only company at the time of recording this video that is offering truly 100% renewable energy and gas. A standard household in the UK would pay about £1,350 for this type of energy tariff. So is switching to a green energy tariff really worth it? Well, let's discuss some pros and cons. Pros, you reduce your carbon emissions. Green energy doesn't release harmful pollutants into the atmosphere. And many firms via the tariffs also do carbon offsetting, where they are planting trees to take out harmful pollutants created by others. 
Renewable energy. Well, that comes from places with unlimited energy supply. For example, the sun, the wind, or waves in the ocean. This is good because fossil fuels are running out and so we need to move to these renewable sources. Three, customer service. And number four, actually, for me personally, this is the biggest pro. And you just feel like you're doing your bit. Your bit for the society, your bit for the environment. Cons, some green energy tariffs are really expensive. And the second con about green energy is that you really need to do your homework to know where the renewable part of green is coming from. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful to introduce you to the concept of buying green energy and perhaps encourage you to switch. Again, it does come down a lot to price and what's available and the information, but over the long term, I really think it's the right thing to do if you can afford it. Now, if you want more information, please go to latestdeals.co.uk where we have lots of money saving guides with more information including big FAQs, all the questions we receive answered in detail. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.